Hi friends, Tiffany here. Welcome to My Quilting Life. So today's little snippet video is a little story. Just a little story, a little haul, and a story. <laughs> it all starts off with me playing on Facebook. Let's see what I was doing. So I'm, I'm on Facebook here, you know, and I scroll through Marketplace and I just scroll and scroll and scroll and look for anything, you know. And there's also times where I sit and I type something in like uh, quilting and just see what pops up, you know, and then I'll scroll and I don't see anything I want there. So then I'll type in, you know, something that's quilting related, like thread. You know, just to see. You never know what's going to come up. You know, and, and there's so many things that are in, you know, all these random things in, in here. But I come across an ad. Here's an ad right here. It says thread, $1. So I clicked on it and... It's thread for a dollar, you know, so I'm looking at the pictures. Oh, hey, look at there's thread. It's all brand new, right? So I said, you know what? I will message that person. And I did. I messaged the person, you know, so that I could buy some thread. And let me tell you a little bit of story about this person while I show you the thread. So I see the ad for thread and I immediately went to Scott and I said, hey, uh, there's an ad for thread, a dollar. So I, you know, looked in and I made sure to see that it was a dollar each. Aha. So I was like, mm, Scott, can we go get some thread if the person responds right away? Well, I messaged the person because Scott said, yeah, because I can't drive myself right now because I just had surgery, you know. And I, I messaged the person and they said, oh, yeah, it's available. You can come right now. Sure. Why not? And I was like, OK, we'll be right there. Where do you live? And I got the address and we decided to go for a trip and get some thread. Now... I have 20 spools of thread here that I bought. I didn't buy it all. I could have bought it all at a dollar a spool, but um, I just grabbed 20. It's all new, still in the wrapper, except for a couple of them are out. But it is all beautiful colors of thread. So nice, lovely cotton thread. So here's one. And I'm going to put them back in the wrappers, you know, as I show you these. So we're there, and obviously I pick out, it takes a while, and Scott's talking with the, the guy and his wife, and I'm picking out all these spools of thread, and I grabbed 20 of them, like here's one that just has the net around it, so it's just a spool that's been opened, but for a dollar, look how much is on it, you know what I mean? Um, this is a pretty color. So... I'm, I'm going through all this and I'm grabbing thread and we asked, well, is there any more quilting supplies? Because he said that his uh, wife that passed away was a quilter and she had four gamma machines that were all computerized. He says that I should switch to computerized because it's better, but that's okay. I'm, I'm okay without computerized. <laughs> Anyways, so we're talking and she, there's leftover batting, but mostly a shop in town had bought him out when she passed away. So he didn't have um, much left. There was a big, huge roll of batting, and I really kind of wasn't into the batting. It kind of looked older, and I really didn't need it. You know, I have big, huge rolls of batting. Look at this color. That's a pretty color. I really didn't need a big, huge roll of... Um, I don't even remember what it was, but it was not cotton. It was something else. It wasn't bamboo and it wasn't polyester. What's the other threads? I don't know. I can't think about it, but I didn't need it. So I didn't get it. So there's that. And then we're looking at other things. There's some quilted projects, you know, things that were started and never finished and stuff. And here's a roll that wasn't in a wrapper. So it's got a little bit of dust on it. But hey, again, $1. Why not? one dollar why not <laughs> anyways so she had um you know some started projects i didn't need any of that kind of stuff it's just like quilts and stuff but we're going through 
this stuff and looking around and it's like a little miniature store honestly um but he needs to empty the building out um and i'm like i don't need anything we get to the door and he says do you want to see a tractor museum and i don't really wasn't paying attention to the conversation that scott and the guy were having so i was like okay I'll, I'll look at a tractor museum and me, you know, thinking, well, uh, this guy's probably got, they got a big huge property, so it might be something really cool and tractors are awesome, right? So here's another one that wasn't in the thing, but again, it doesn't look like much was off of it. Um, go outside, oops, I'm gonna open this one up, it hasn't been opened yet. And the, we walk to his little tractor museum and I'm like hmm turns out I did kind of pay attention to the conversation that Scott and the guy were having because he had asked Scott while I was digging through the thread um, if we had any old sewing machines I didn't think nothing of it you know because I didn't think nothing of it and we said no we don't have any old sewing machines I have new ones that I just got but I'm not selling them <laughs> You know, thinking, look at that pretty color. So anyways, we go and we walk over. And again, I'm in my brain not putting two and two together. Thinking, oh, tractors, you know. <laughs> okay, let's look. And we get into this building. And it's literally sewing machine tractors. Like, what? So uh, all this to say uh, and show you a little clip of these amazing sewing machine tractors that this guy um, makes literally in his humongous garage because you guys know I live in Arizona and if you come to Lake Havasu or ever been to Lake Havasu it's all about the big garages and he has this garage that he builds and then he showed me the part I didn't film that part but all these awesome tractors which I'm going to show you now and then he showed me the area where he builds them with all these crazy machines for you know working with metal and so on and so forth so here it is here is the tractor museum is what he calls it again this is super awesome and i know that a lot of you are going to get a kick out of this and show your husbands because this my friends is the coolest part of my day today so here you go
So there we have it. I got 20 spools of thread and got to see all those really cool sewing machine tractors. Now, I, I don't know the price normally of a sewing machine tractor because I've never, I've seen them, but I've never seen them like that in person in someone's garage that makes them. So I don't know what the prices are supposed to be, but I'm pretty sure that was a good deal because some of them are like 250 bucks. So that's amazing for what he does with them and the time that he takes to build those things amazing so um yeah he told me to tell you guys if anybody is interested in any of them and you guys are in Lake Havasu because he doesn't ship them they're very heavy if you're in Lake Havasu and you would like to purchase one contact me because I will contact him for you <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed today's little story video. Um, again, I got 20 spools of thread. Bargain. 20 bucks right here. So these can be used not only on my industrial Juki, but they can be used on my TL2010Qs, plural, because I have two of those now. Um, they could be used on those as well. So I got myself a bunch of thread, a bunch of time on my hands. Sooner or later, I'll eventually use it all. All right, I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Bye!